Fed Chair Jay Powell in testimony before Congress will suggest that rates could go higher, uh, get there faster, and stay there longer than anticipated. He says uh, it is likely that they, they will go higher than anticipated if data indicate the Fed is prepared to increase the pace of rate hikes. He also says reporting, restoring price stability will require a restrictive policy stance for some time. The historical record, Powell warns, uh, warns against prematurely loosening policy. Quote, we will stay the course until the job is done. Goes on to say the decisions will be made meeting by meeting uh, and the full effects of tightening have yet to be felt in the economy. He talks about the recent data where he says the January data partly reversed the softening trends they'd seen late last year. This likely reflects, he said, unseasonably warm weather, but he suggests that if, even if you take out the warm weather, it still suggests inflation is running higher than expected. On inflation, Powell says the process of reducing it has a long way to go and is likely to be bumpy. Uh, more on inflation, he says it's moderated somewhat, but still well above target. He expects housing inflation to decline in the year ahead, but there's little sign of disinflation in the area that he continues to point out, which is core services x housing. On the economy, Powell says there will likely be a softening in the labor market this year. While wage gains have slowed, Powell says they have remained above levels consistent with the Fed's 2% inflation target. The U.S. economy slowed significantly last year. Uh, and as for consumer spending, it is rising this quarter at what he calls a solid pace. There's been some recent indicators that point to subdued growth in spending and production. But overall, he says the labor market remains extremely tight. So uh, there it is, guys, the possibility of a higher rate, the possibility of getting there faster, and the idea of staying there for a long time. Back to you.